It happened one morning on that day anew when the tree fell asleep on the morning dew with his arms aloft and the chainsaw revving. He butchered the young trainee named Kevin. The trainee made a grimace as the chainsaw cleaved his face. He looked helpless standing there with his eyeball flying through the air. Lots and lots of thrills and spills on that fateful day at the sawmills. Then in the car park a passerby happened to slip upon the eye into the boss's mean machine. His head went straight through the windscreen. The shock made the boss unsettled. He pressed down on the gas pedal. The severed head, oh, how it bled as he crashed his car into the gardener's shed. Lots and lots of thrills and spills on that fateful day at the sawmills. The gardener's furnace burning bright soon set everything alight. In just two minutes the gaskets were blown, scattering body parts and bone. A policeman suspecting foul play was blinded by blood and lost his way. You could hear the siren roar as he drove into a circular saw. Lots and lots of thrills and spills on that fateful day at the sawmills. Car and saw lay side by side. The sparks ignited some insecticide. The workers ran, but all in vain, and another blaze began again. The stranded people had napalm burns. Some were done to a turn. In just a few seconds their fates were sealed. It looked just like the killing fields. Lots and lots of thrills and spills on that fateful day at the sawmills. The fire crew called it a fait accompli, apart from a cat found up a tree. And even though the fire brigade seem a bit lazy, this is why they're paid. <laughs> Radio.